Okay, so once upon a time, there was I lived I I lived in a building that had that had um like laundry, like a like a laundry room. And so I went into the laundry room, right? And I was just like waiting for my stuff to be done or whatever. And then this guy walks in and he's like, hello, lady. And I could tell there was a vibe, you know, there's a vibe that I was like, this guy is trying to work his gentlemanly charms. And then, and then, you know what he says to me? (laughs) He's like, have you ever considered like, have you ever thought about like what it must taste like to like eat human meat? And I was like... I'm alone with this man in the laundry room. <laughs> and he's, and he's asking me if I ever considered eating human meat. <laughs> I just a PSA for some of you, maybe if you could use it. Um, if you're trying to charm a lady, especially if she's alone with you in a room, don't bring up eating human meat. <laughs> Don't bring it. Don't bring it up. Just anything else but that. young <laughs> the eldritch gentleman. Thank you. Does this end with help me, step bro? I'm stuck. No. It really didn't. That's not how it ended at all. It ended up with me being very scared and trying to find a way out. <laughs> like considering packing up someone else's laundry and just being like oh yeah this is totally mine and it's, it just so happened to be finished right now wow what a coincidence <laughs> what a coincidence <laughs> I totally thank you. he took that i want to taste you too literally <laughs> <laughs> like actually what the hell it scared me man I Meaty man, thank you. No, next you lock the door. What? No. Oh my god, I would cry and scream. Like that could have been it for me. I could have been dead. You know how many times in my life I've thought about, like I've I've lived over situations and I'm like, wow, I could have died. Like <laughs> a little too many, honestly. Like a little too many. <laughs> Why the bloody hell do I get a don't rizzle woman with eating human meat alone in a room after sleeping in for today? (laughs) Look, some people might need the PSA and I just, I want to help out. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I'm sorry. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Like, okay, here's the thing, right? He might have been a little anxious. He might have been a little just like flustered, doesn't know what to say. But also, I might have been a little scared. (laughs) You know, can I feel bad about it? Sure. I can be like, wow, I'm sorry you felt so. But you know what? You made me anxious. You made (laughs) you Jesus Christ. (laughs) God, man. Scary. Don't do that. Man, you know, you can't be too nice in this world or that gets you eaten or murdered or, you know, otherwise incapable of being alive any longer. Thank <laughs> you. Is this where your skeleton fetish came from? No! That was from, I don't know why every time I go to say the name Jack, I instantly go to Jacksepticeye. <laughs> no, Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington is a sexy man. My fellow brothers, in the face of our common dangers, in this winter of our hardship, remember these timeless words, as we can. 